Hello. Pinky and I have a story to tell you. It's called, And Tango Makes Three. Pinky loves this story because it involves a zoo. Now, let's see if there's any elephants in this book. I can't remember. Do you remember, Pinky? I don't know, we'll find out. But I know for sure that there are penguins. This is written by Justin Richardson and Peter Parnell and illustrated by Henry Cole. And Tango Makes Three. Here's a picture of the sea lions at the zoo. It starts like this. In the middle of New York City, there's a great big park called Central Park. Children love to play there. It has toy boat. It has a toy boat pond where they can sail their boats. It has a carousel to ride on in the summer and an ice rink to skate on in the winter. So there's the, to the boat pond and the merry-go-round and the ice rink. But best of all, and Pinky agrees with this, it also has its very own zoo. Every day, families of all kinds go to visit the animals that live there. But children and their parents aren't the only families at the zoo. The animals make families of their own. There are red panda bear families with mothers and fathers and furry red panda bear cubs. There are monkey dads and monkey moms ra raising noisy monkey babies. There are toad families and toucan families and cotton top tamarind families too. I bet you are part of a family. And in the penguin house, there are penguin families. Every year at the very same time, the girl penguins start noticing the boy penguins and the boy penguins start noticing the girls. When the right girl and the right boy find each other, they become a couple. Now, two penguins in the penguin house were a little bit different. One was named Roy, and the other was named Silo. Roy and Silo were both boys, but they did everything together. They bowed to each other and walked together they sang to each other and swam together. Wherever Roy went, Silo went too. They didn't spend much time with the girl penguins and the girl penguins didn't spend much time with them. Instead, Roy and Silo wound their necks around each other. Their keeper, Mr. Gramsci, noticed the two penguins and thought to himself, hmm, they must be in love. Roy and Silo watched how the other penguins made a home. So they built a nest of stones for themselves. Every night, Roy and Silo slept there together, just like the other penguin couples. And every morning, Roy and Silo woke up together. But one day, Roy and Silo saw that the other couples could do something they could not. The mama penguin would lay an egg. She and the papa penguin would take turns, keeping the egg warm until finally it would hatch. And then there would be a baby penguin. I see one, two, three, four, five baby penguins. And they're really cute. Roy and Silo had no egg to sit on and keep warm. They had no baby chick to feed and cuddle and love. Their nest was nice, but it was a little empty. You see how there's no egg in there? One day, Roy found something that looked like what the other penguins were hatching and he brought it to their nest. It was only a rock, but Silo sat carefully on it and sat and sat and sat. When Silo got sleepy, he slept. And when Silo was done sleeping and sitting, he swam and Roy sat. Day after day, Silo and Roy sat on that rock. But nothing happened. Then Mr. Gramsci, the zookeeper, he 
he got an idea. He found an egg that needed to be cared for, and he brought it to Roy and Silo's nest. You see that? The two penguins are in the background looking. Roy and Silo knew just what to do. They moved the egg to the center of their nest. Every day they turned it so each side stayed warm. Some days Roy sat while Silo went for food. Other days it was Silo's turn to take care of their egg. They sat in the morning and they sat in the night. They sat through lunchtime and swim time and supper. They sat at the beginning of the month and they sat at the end of the month and they sat all of the days in between. Until one day, they heard a sound coming from inside their egg. Beep, 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 it said. Roy and Silo called back. Squawk, squawk, beep, beep, answered the egg. And here you see what the egg looks like. You can see there's something happening. It's starting to crack. Suddenly, a tiny hole appeared in the egg shell. And then, crack! Out came their very own baby. She had fuzzy white feathers and a funny black beak. Now, Roy and Silo were fathers. We will call her Tango, Mr. Gramsci decided, because it takes two to make a tango. Roy and Silo taught Tango how to sing for them when she was hungry. They fed her food from their beaks. They snuggled her in their nest at night. Tango was the very first penguin in the zoo to have two daddies. Soon, Tango grew strong enough to leave the nest. Roy and Silo took her for a swim just like all the other penguin families. And all the children who came to the zoo could see Tango and her two fathers playing in the penguin house with the other penguins. Hooray, Roy! Hooray, Silo! Welcome, Tango, they cheered. At night, the three penguins returned to their nest. They snuggled together, and like all the other penguins in the penguin house, and all the other animals in the zoo, and all the families in the big city, they went to sleep. And then at the back of the book, it even tells a little bit of the story behind this book, that there really is a Roy, and there really is a Silo, and there really is a Tango. So if you want to learn more about Tango, you can read this book called And Tango Makes Three. How is that, Pinky? Did you see any elephants? No, I just saw penguins. But it was a good book.